I see an inherent logical problem for the person that doesn't have this kind of peace underlying their lives. Right, can you imagine, uh, I've, I've been told this advice before, right, if you, if, you, if, you have, if you lose something, be thankful for something else. Okay, so, so I lost, if I lose my job, I'll just be thankful for my health. Well, then you ask the question, well, what if I lose my health? Well, I lost my health. Just be thankful that you have your family. Well, all right, but what if I lose my family? Just be thankful that, you, you see where I'm going? You, you, you take so many steps down the road, and, and what happens when you just keep losing things? I, I, don't, I don't mean to, to, to make fun of the practice or, or, to, or to mock those who, who, who don't have this hope, but I'm saying that there is an inherent problem. They need a deeper hope, an anchor for the soul that will hold. When you say, I lost my job, at least I've got my health. I lost my health, at least I got my family. I lost my family. You need something that will still be there no matter what happens. One of the passages of the Bible that's always been a struggle for me is 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 18. It says this, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances. All circumstances. Every one of them. Leaves nothing out. How on earth do you do that? How do you give thanks in all circumstances? I think in verse 15, the Apostle Paul has put his finger on it. The way that you can be thankful in all circumstances is by having peace with God, the peace of Christ, and thanking God for exactly that. When everything else can be taken away, that's what cannot be taken away. That is the anchor that holds whatever the storm that comes.